stop eating McDonald's. Thank you. What's going to happen? Thank Where, you. you know, when the churches start to realize, stop drinking as much soda and things of that nature and start, what's going to, I mean. Stop, stop drinking alcohol. Mm. Stop, stop drinking, drinking alcohol. beer. Yeah. Stop smoking cigarettes. What's going to happen when, when these black communities really start to wake up. Okay. What can we expect? What's You're going, right. What's now, gonna, go ahead. Okay, excuse <laughs> me, excuse me. <laughs> now, <clears throat> the preacher, all these leaders, right. alcoholic drinkers, yeah. <laughs> live drug addicts, <laughs> live homosexual, Ooh, bisexual, oh, said, yeah. big yes. time. Right. Oh no, this is the actual fact. <laughs> right. You understand what I'm trying to say? Uh, 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 smoke, Right. Here's a, here, here, here's, a, here's a preacher, Right. just got through reading the Bible, about Jesus saves, and he's smoking right. a cigar and drinking right. a, a glass of scotch. Yeah. Yeah. I, I remember it was. And got his wife mm. and his other women in the same congregation. Mm. <laughs> right. Because they lost track. They don't care. Right. They're mm. caught up in the system. Yeah. And they are part of destroying the minds and the direction of our youth. Right. Just so they can uh, uh, live in a fantasy world. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. See what it is? When you have extreme conditions, right? You know, you have a lot of pressure, like say pressure bust pipes. Right. You know, so like back in the sixties and fifties when you had the birth of the civil rights movement, we you had ministers and preachers from all religious denominations standing up and taking political stances right. because it was that critical and and a large part of the movement stemmed from out of the church. Right. You know, like back then, you know, ministers was preaching more of a liberation theology, True. Right. you know, <laughs> as opposed to a, a conformity theology. Right. You know, just go along to get along, you know, type philosophy where I hear right. a lot of people preach today. But at that time, they, they knew because ministers and pastors, they're, they're influential figures. Right. So mm -hmm. if they see a pastor or minister says something, more than likely the congregation will adhere to their advice because they see this as a, yeah. a, a learned man of God. Right. Right. You know, and this is the same thing. Like I have some sisters that work at my job that are seven day Adventists. Right. And most of them don't eat meat. Mm -hmm. They are yeah, vegetarians. Right. You true. know, they eat vegan, healthy, organic foods. Yes. And and I'm wondering, you know, why is this such a trend amongst them? And then one of them told me that they, in their religious denomination, there was an individual that they regard as like a prophetess or whatever that bring them the doctrine of diet, mm. that introduced to them a doctrine of diet. Right. You know, so now, so what what we may call in just the regular society as just a vegan or vegetarian diet, they regard as a Daniel diet. Mm. Right. You know, which is essentially the same thing, but they're just getting it from a, a religious or biblical aspect, right. but if I tried to give it to them from just a strictly scientific and health aspect, they wouldn't accept it. Right. It took it took them getting it from their religious doctrine and institution to motivate them to want to eat healthier. So right. that plays a large part, you know, right. in, in, in terms of how we're going to move our people because when you look at the community, and particularly the black community, there's churches on every block. Right. <laughs> but the problems are the same. Okay, They're true. not going anywhere. So obviously religion is not the answer, mm -hmm. or religion is how it's being taught right. to them is not the answer. Because like the brother said, these people who are in positions of influence, they're living high off the hog. Right. You mm -hmm. know, so they don't want to jeopardize their position. They start talking about the corruption of politics in the neighborhood, next thing you know, they're gonna stop receiving some of that funding that's coming in from the local <laughs> politicians. Right. You know, so they don't want to so they don't want to bite the hand that feeds them. Right. Right. You right. know, so they sacrifice what they know that they should be doing for what they receive and continue to do that. Right. But getting back to what you were saying about the responsibility and accountability, you know, like I said before, responsibility is the ability to respond. Right. So now as you enhance your ability which is through knowledge, wisdom and understanding, and all that entails, whether it's education and so forth and so on, you'll be able to open up doors of opportunity for yourself and options to be able to do this. I think that, you know, in the few minutes we got left, w would you say, either one of your brothers say that the main key issue that makes an individual become more responsible and more accountable, would you say that is knowledge of self? Mm -hmm actually getting knowledge of self, finding out who you are as an original man, yeah. finding out your position, finding out it, who you are, who they are, who's right. who, who's this, who's who on the face of the planet Earth, trying to... 
without knowledge of yourself. Right. <laughs> which is knowledge, wisdom, understanding of your true universal identification. Right. You're not going nowhere. Right. <laughs> you're lost. Right. <laughs> okay. You, your, your mind's in a box. Right. And all you can see is the box. Right. Mm -hmm. you, 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 you follow what I'm saying? Right. And the whole system is directly uh, against, for keeping your mind in the box. Right. Mm -hmm. They don't want you out the box. Right. Because once your mind come out the box and you can see, know, understand the reality of life, right. you're free. Right. And once you're free, ment spiritually, mentally, and physically, you will surpass them. Right. Their world is over. McDonald's mm. is out of business because right. you're not eating McDonald's. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. Kentucky Fried and Burger King is out of business. Right. The alcohol industry is out of business. Right. The smoking industry is out of business. Right. All the drug is out of business. All these corrupted, destructive forces that is used to, to keep us, to destroy us and keep right. us down. This is what the most honorable Elijah Muhammad has been teaching for the last Absolutely. 44 years. Right. You don't have to do no, you don't have to argue, right. we don't have to fuss, you don't have to fight. Just leave the vices alone right. and you'll come to power mm. overnight. So you just think if everybody right. stop, all black people just stop smoking. Oh, stop that, drinking. That will cripple the paralyzed America. They're gone, mm. but they're gone. Yeah, okay. No alcohol, no drugs, no tobacco, and no gambling. That's um, it. That's it. America <laughs> will fall down their face, <laughs> right. Mm. right. And you, you know, hey, you put it, so we got basically an economic war to some degree. It, it is an economical war Absolutely. because they're getting... Financially. Financially, you know why it's an economical war? Because they're getting rich while they destroy us. Mm -hmm. If every black person stopped eating bacon McDonald's, bacon yeah. double cheeseburgers, that's it. Y yeah. They're out of business. They're out of business. Yeah. See what it is? It's a good <clears throat> business person responds to a demand. Right. You know, so when, <laughs> see, so, see, new businesses and industries pop up all the time right. based on the changes that take place in society. Right. So now, a supermarket like, you know, Pathmark or something right. like that, oh. that was never known. Pathmark is not a place where you go to go get healthy food. Right. You know, <laughs> but because of the Good. changing dynamics right. in the community, people want to eat healthier and they're and they are eating healthier, Pat, that has forced. A businessman says that, you know what, we have to get into that market. Go right? ahead. You know, <laughs> so now we're going to start selling vegan burgers, <laughs> veggie burgers, <laughs> right. veg, everything <laughs> veg. That's what they do. So right. they respond right. to the yeah. change so that they could still get your money. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's all that matters to but them is the bottom line, which is the dollar. Right. right. You know, so... So, but, but we have to keep in mind, us too as conscious people must keep in mind there's always an economic aspect to everything, right. even righteousness. <laughs> oh, you know, there's, okay. no, there's nothing wrong with <laughs> right. profiting from being righteous. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that. Well, if I open up a ch food store and it's organic and I'm feeding people healthy, healthy nutritious food. Right. food, why should I feel any type of moral reservation about... You know what I'm saying? Building up my wealth when I know that is based upon doing good for my community. Mm. Exactly. Mm. Right. Mm. Now, Absolutely. to, to yeah. we, you know, you said they open up the, the, ve the problem is, is that, yeah, they went from, the, they, they opened up the vegan burger market, but mm -hmm. is the poison in the vegan burgers now? Right. Well, you have to, oh, yeah. you have to, you have to look at that. Yeah. Read, read the labels. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Everybody yeah. knows. Right. Meat is destructive to the body. Right. They know that. Right. Why do they still eat it? Yeah. Right. Everybody knows. Oh, I don't eat pork. But everybody knows the same thing a piggy or chicken right. eat. Right. So why are you still eating chicken? chicken. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you understand what I'm trying exactly. to say? Why pay for bad health? Right. Now, all these bad foods is designed to give you medical problems. Right. And now you end up in the hospital. Right. And the hospital, and he, he's there, and I was there. He, we'll tell you, it's a butcher shop. <laughs> right. You go for a cold, they take out a rib. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? Right all these here medicated right. colored tablets, because I, right. I, 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 I know what I'm talking about. Yeah. All these different tablets and pills right. and things that they think is good for you, that the, the people think is good for them, they're just colored, harmless 
powdered pills. Right, right, right. Harmless. Yeah. And you used to, you, and you're taking it and you'll psych yourself up like you feel better. And, and, most and of you're the, getting worse. Most mm -hmm. of the time, it's you get sick because of the food that you eat. The, 99% uh, yeah. of your medical problems comes from, from pork. The, from the pork, mm -hmm. yeah. 99. Yeah. So we have women Wait, left. And the preacher, the preachers know this. Yeah. But they don't teach the congregation. They don't teach the congregation. All these religious leaders out here know that. But so they don't teach the, like he said, because they capitalize off the ignorance of the people. To some degree, the religion and worshiping that mysterious God yeah. Keeps you subjugated, keeps you blind to eating the McDonald's, to eating oh, yeah. the Kentucky Fried Chicken, to eating all of these things to some degree. If I, I, I if yeah. I mention the name Jesus, yeah. your mind just went back 2,000 years. Yeah. If I mention the name Muhammad, your mind just went back 1,400 years. Yeah. Now, how can you function in, in the year 2010 yeah. when your mind is 2,000 and 1,400 years yeah. back? We, we're out of time. <laughs> but we have to come back. Well, Chesedek, we have to come back again. Okay. Scientists, we have to come back again. Okay. And, uh, you know, you brothers, thank you so much for coming out. Man, it's a you pleasure. Know, we didn't yeah, even absolutely. finish talking about what everything Brother, we need to talk I'm about. retired. You can call me anytime. <laughs> <laughs> we, have we, to, got, we have to leave this out here for the people. Thank you for watching Absolute Truth. This program is designed to open and light Thank you for watching Absolute Truth. Thank you, God. Thank you for coming out. Peace, peace. Peace, God. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> <laughs>